So I'm Mark Inchliffe and I own a chapel opposite. Um, we actually discovered the statue underneath the trees um, which was completely black and when I say black it was like the Ace of Spades black. Um, two of the young lads who were actually cleaning the building actually water jet sprayed it and at that point then we realised that it wasn't a lump of concrete, it was actually Sicilian white marble. So then we took it upon ourselves, I mean the fact that it was going to become a home at some point, we thought well we'll bring it over to the War Memorial Cemetery and there it laid, um, taking probably obviously with the pandemic being in, it took about two and a half years, we got planning permission with uh, the help of Harrogate Council who kindly donated the money to restore it and put it into the spot where it now sits. At one point it did actually have a beautiful soldier sat on the top, a bronze soldier which was uh, about 20 uh, inches high but at some point that was stolen in the 70s. So now uh, Lapiceda uh, kindly paid for the top of it to put the cap on it and uh, I think you'll agree it looks amazing. Mr Mayor, uh, Lady Mayoress and everybody here, thank you for coming today. In 2018, as part of the centenary commemorations for the end of the Great War, Kath and I came to this uh, cemetery, uh, to this war memorial, and we were dismayed to find it laid on a pallet over there. We laid the wreath, but we, we promised to restore it to its former glory. Three years later, we've achieved this. I wish to thank the Parks Department at Harrogate Borough Council for providing the funds, cleaning the cemetery, the graves and the memorial stone. The memorial itself was lovingly reassembled and restored by two Ripon based builders who are ex-service personnel. Dean is here today. However, the main reason we are here today of course is to commemorate not just these 11 names on the memorial, but the sacrifice of many who died and reflect on the terrible tragedy and cost of war. In the Great War, to which this memorial relates, there were 35 million casualties, of which 15 million died. There are 7.5 million soldiers who were killed and have no no grave. I'm trying to get the timing right, chaps. <laughs> the 11 people on here uh, I've got a little bit of detail for you. Fred Horner, who's on the photograph, was 19 when he died. Charles Victor Bell was killed in action at the Battle of the Somme on the very first day. John William Fishburne also died on the first day of the Battle of the Somme. Percy Barn, he died on the 22nd of October 1916. We do not know what battle he was involved with. Reginald Jones, sadly we only know that he was killed in action in 1916. Willie Hutchinson, he also was killed in action on the 22nd of November 1917. Herbert Gibson died in the Dardanelles in, uh, in October 23rd 1915. Geoffrey Hewson died on the 20th of July 1918. Henry Partridge died on the 25th of July from wounds received from in action whilst flying over Bruges. George Arrowsmith was killed in action in, in, on the 15th of April in 1918. And Reginald Burnett, the only person buried in this graveyard, um, died shortly after returning from the war.